Hey, what's up, guys? I I always get asked this question ever since I I started talking about it on my podcast is why 200 episodes? You know, I mentioned in my intro that it's a 200 episode podcast, and at first I didn't really uh, know how many I wanted to do. I knew I didn't want my podcast to die on its own. Uh, anything I've ever created, I, I wanted to really sustain it. Even picking the topics we pick and the fact that it's a personal journal allows me to keep coming to you every week and actually talk to you about things that are happening in my life, but are also topical and especially relevant to the people that I have on my show. But I wanted to just take an opportunity just to share uh, why 200 episodes. Well, first and foremost, uh, I always thought 100 episodes would be too easy. Uh, we passed the 100 episode mark after four years. I, I wouldn't say that was easy, but I do full episodes, and originally when I first started, uh, I thought I would only be able to get a co-host every other week. My schedule was busy, other people's schedules were busy, and I originally had started the podcast just to build relationships and make friends, and I thought there's only so many friends you can make, uh, and I didn't want to really overextend myself because of the time it would take to edit podcasts and, and the time it would take to schedule people was a lot. Uh, at the time, my first podcast host, co-host was my buddy, Duarte Montiero, but I call him Dewey, uh, and Dewey and I had been meeting each other every other week. I was helping him with video production. I thought, well, great, that would work. I'm getting out of the house at least every other week because I needed to get out of the house. I needed to do something uh, to engage people, but I knew 100 episodes would be too easy. Uh, I also thought I wanted to really stretch myself. I wanted to put a number out there that would make a lot of sense, but really push it so I can spend a decent amount of time of my life actually doing this. Uh, there's a thing we podcasters call pod fade, where you start a podcast and realize it kind of disappears as uh, you kind of get farther into the show, whether the topics become irrelevant or you picked a content uh, basis or a foundation that isn't sustainable. And they usually dissipate after like seven or eight episodes. I think there's like 75% of the podcasts on iTunes end up fading away. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do something that had some legs and stuck. So I set a 200 episodes as a, a goal, a way to get there. Now, looking back, if I was doing this video back when I was at 14, 15 episodes, I would think, geez, that's a long time. But I guess once you hit the mid mark, and I'm already on 104 episodes, almost 105 episodes, uh, it, it seems to be a, a much more attainable goal. It's exciting, and people ask me, what happens when you hit 200 episodes? I always wanted to write a book. I think I have a lot of stories to tell, and, and uh, I've always been too lazy to write an outline to anything. I don't even do an outline in my show, which is great. It keeps it organic. But being able to go back and actually listen to the old episodes and to kind of tell that story gives me an opportunity to actually have a, 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 a basis or an outline for, for a nice memoir uh, to be able on my show share my story with all of you that prefer to read something versus actually listen to something. And speaking of reading, uh, a new thing I wanted to do and pretty much wanted to use this uh, video as an opportunity to make the announcement is I've never been much of a blogger, but I know there's a lot of people out there that like reading things. So uh, I've never gone back and listened to my full episodes. Maybe for, for a giggle or two, I, I went back and listened to a portion of it, but I think it's about time I start listening back to my shows. And I think I have a lot of interesting messages to share with you, but maybe some messages that are easy to take in on paper that are on the computer screen and through your ear holes. So I'm gonna be taking some of my most favorite episodes in the past and putting them on blogs and giving, figuring out what the message is. I mean, I, I, it's amazing how when you put yourself out there and you share a little bit of yourself every week, people do take a lot more out of it than sometimes you intend to, which is awesome. Uh, and I wanted to repurpose that content. So I'll be producing blogs, some, some of my favorite episodes, mostly the ones that I'm just on, to be able to share with all of you so you guys can enjoy it. And I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that too. I want to thank everyone for continuing to subscribe to this YouTube channel and listening to my videos, or watching my videos, and listening to my podcast as well. It's amazing the community, community that I've built. I always have a problem saying that. It's funny, building something and having a problem saying it. The community that I've built around the Dependent Independent brand. And I wanna thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. Remember, if this is the first time you're listening or seeing this video, please make sure you subscribe and that way you get our, our future episodes. We're, we're hiking our subscribers up there, which is a lot of fun. I wanna get more video content out there to all of you. Uh, experiment in doing this great uh, adventure of 200 episodes. And I wanna thank you for joining me on this ride. I'm Nick G, I'm the host of the Dependent Independent Podcast and the creator of the Dependent Independent brand. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. 
and I'm out.